Welcome back. Each week we share with you stories of inspirational athletes who overcome adversity to succeed on the field and in the classroom. Our Brian Mueller is here to tell us a story about a sack high football player who is doing just that. Well guys, last semester Lamont Johnson Burrell had a 3.95 GPA. Pretty good, right? Not good enough for Lamont, who was pretty disappointed he just missed that 4.0. That pursuit of perfection is a mindset the senior didn't always have and one that took a lot of hardship to fully grasp. Lamont Johnson Burrell set the tone for his high school career in his very first varsity game. He played corner and he got burnt. And he said, Coach, that'll never happen again. And I'm like, for a sophomore to come up and say that'll never happen again in your first varsity game, you're really going to take this serious. And ever since then, he's been locked down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and Lamont has kept that promise through a combination of size, speed, and film study. But there was one game last year that really put the six foot three receiver and corner on recruiters' radars. I scored three touchdowns that game. It was just amazing. I was shutting everything down on defense. It just all came together. And it turns out the key to the three TD and one interception performance was potassium. Before the game, I ate like three bananas. I really didn't want to cramp up. I usually cramp up during games. <laughs> Lamont already has three college offers as a cornerback, including D1 Cal Poly. For a lot of us, that's the reason why we coach. We don't make a lot of money, but for seeing him at five years old, running around McClatchy Park out here now, you know, seeing his Twitter page go off with offers, I mean, it's the reason why we do it, and for him, I mean, it's going to probably change his life. It's still hitting me that I still got my first offer that, I don't know, I just, I'm really going to be able to play sports in college. It's just amazing. Even more amazing when you consider where Lamont came from. Growing up, it was, it was kind of rough, I'm not going to lie. Fourth grade through fifth grade, I was in and out of group homes. Coming to eighth grade, in and out of group homes. Ninth grade, in and out. Lamont grew up in the Oak Park neighborhood. It took moving out of his unstable home environment and in with his grandma for things to turn around. I think just the, the change of environment helped him academically to focus on grades in school, not the streets. He's nice, kind. He's very responsible, too. One, two, three. Two of Lamont's aunts also played a crucial role. The twins, who he sees more like older sisters, have forged a close relationship with Lamont. Even though they're in the army, they still call me every day. It's good to know someone who's been through it and like made it through, so it just gave me huge motivation. But just as Lamont was finding his footing, he was unmoored by a sudden loss. His best friend and classmate, Jalen Beshart, was shot and killed in his car in October of last year. Lamont is honoring his former teammate in the best way he knows how. I think that was a big factor to me, really just breaking out and having a great season and bringing my grades up. Every day I pray, it's, I pray that he just watches over me. It's, it just means a lot. It means a lot. Lamont will have no shortage of motivation when he steps onto the field this year, playing for friends and family near and far and for a future that's looking brighter by the day. I just want to shut everything down, get more offers, amaze my family. That's one thing that I stand by. No matter where you come from, if you work hard and put in the work and focus, I mean, you can be anything you want to be. And Lamont's a prime example of that. Coach Drayden also added that Lamont has NFL potential. The Dragons are back in action next week against Kimball. And they're looking good. Yeah, they are, absolutely. Yeah, and with, uh, with Lamont there, they'll be in good shape. And hopefully we'll see him playing on Sundays one day. That would be lovely, all right.